Okay, so welcome to the dynamic patterning webinar. Um, we're really excited to have uh, such a, a growing and global audience. We have people from Sweden, India, UAE, Australia, as well as all over North America attending the webinar, and that's really exciting for us. Um, so um, we're looking forward to having a, a fun afternoon, at least here in New York, with you, um, looking at patterning in Grasshopper. Creating a pattern that changes dynamically based on your inputs is not only fun, but has many great creative applications, ranging from fashion to facades. Beginning with a presentation on the main principles of working with repeating masks, mathematical expressions, attractors, and fields, this webinar will incrementally unpack a diverse set of patterning techniques through a series of live exercises with Grasshopper. With two instructors offering guided curriculum and continuous support, it is our goal to provide you with an in-depth and personal learning experience. Additional topics covered will include how to control my pattern, visualizing the change in my pattern, using variable values to influence objects, and coordinating pattern output for drawing or fabrication. So I am Gil Akos, and here with me is Ronnie Parsons. We are Mode Collective. And we are a multidisciplinary uh, design practice located in Brooklyn, New York. And we have uh, three sets of initiatives that go along with our studio. Uh, they fall under the names Lateral Design and Lab. Uh, so uh, through Lateral, we offer uh, consulting and fabrication services. And that's really grown out of our experience in working with people over the last four years. Uh, design is uh, our set of like everyday activities uh, from coding to making with uh, CNC equipment. And Lab is really the um, share source initiative consisting of a, a web repository for uh, learning resources as well as um, the kind of entity through which we offer monthly webinars and bi-monthly workshops here at our studio. So uh, as you probably already uh, have um, gathered from visiting our website Mode Lab, that um, this is the location for us to share all of the uh, knowledge related to Grasshopper, Python, any sort of design activity related to technology, including the output of your designs through digital fabrication. And um, through Mode Lab, as I was saying, we do webinars such as the one we're doing right now. And we also offer uh, hands-on intensive workshops here at our studio um, where a diverse set of individuals come together, learn about a topic or set of topics, and um, almost always there's some uh, component of making here in, uh, in the studio that goes along with the workshop. So here it's using our CNC laser cutter. And um, if you haven't already, um, go ahead and uh, check us out on, um, on our Mode Collective uh, Facebook page. And this is really the best way for you to uh, gather um, Mo the most up-to-date information about content releases and upcoming events. Okay, so a uh, couple of notes about um, the webinar infrastructure. Um, we are recording uh, the webinar today and we're going to distribute it online as we've been doing um, since we started the webinar series. Um, so all of the archive footage can be found on uh, the Mode Lab website under the category videos. And um, we'll also be distributing the files that we produce together, um, the instructor files, after the conclusion of the webinar, along with a PDF of this presentation. And the, uh, the files for today, the exercise files, we sent you a link, but we have a note that um, it may have been the previous uh, webinar content. So we're going to repost that link into the um, uh, repost that link into the chat window so that you can access uh, all the files and download them while we're doing this initial uh, presentation. And um, the last note is that uh, Ronnie and I are both um, conducting this webinar simultaneously. So I will be presenting uh, um, the. PowerPoint as well as the exercise files. And Ronnie is going to be offering uh, technical assistance on the fly. 
So any question you might have, anything at all, feel free to drop it into the question window and you'll get a very uh, prompt response. And whenever there's a significant number of similar questions, Ronnie will redirect them back to me and we'll address them as a group. And there's also going to be a question and answer, a series of question and answer sessions where you can, um, uh, we can address some uh, more in-depth questions uh, as we go. And the idea here uh, is that we really want to make this as much of a live, interactive, and hands-on experience as we can uh, through the format of the webinar. 